You want to take a science ride? Yeah. 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 Northwestern's ride service, Safe Ride, gives students hundreds of rides every night. What if your next ride was a science ride? Lead is the correct answer. I'm Mike, and I'll quiz you with five science questions while Tom does the driving. Hey, Tom. No, uh, the password is correct. You're one for one. Yes. Go five for five and win a great prize. So what do you say? Want to go for a science ride? Science Ride, the science quiz show that takes place right here inside this van. Here's how it works. As Tom, our driver, takes you to your destination, I'm going to ask you five general knowledge science questions. They're going to start easy and get harder. As long as you keep answering questions correctly, you win prizes. If you miss more than two, you're going to have to reshelf all the chemistry textbooks in the library. Oh, man. <laughs> really? Seriously? No. No. <laughs> If you get stuck at any point, you can collaborate by asking Tom, our driver. Do we get shout-outs? That's your shout-out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So what do you say? You want to take a science ride? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, first question. I'm going to start you out easy. In the movie Back to the Future, what fictional device powers the time-traveling DeLorean? Remember, you've got a uh, shout out to to Tom. Okay. Um, if you want to use it, but you only get one. Okay. Uh, let's. Should we do our shout out? Yeah. Let's do okay. <laughs> uh, Tom, can you help us out here? I think I can. I have a film major. Um, <laughs> the uh, the answer I think is the flux capacitor. Okay, that sounds familiar. Let's go with that. <laughs> flux capacitor. Final answer. Flux capacitor is correct. You're one for one. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys are off to a fast start. Second question. Ready? Commonly experienced with train horns and fire engine sirens, what term describes a sound wave's change in frequency as the source approaches the listener? Oh, crap. We took this. <laughs> what is it? took physics recently, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, you're one for two, still in the running for a prize. <laughs> Question three. This massive cloud is typically fluffy and bulbous towards the top and dark and flat at the bottom. Name the cloud typically associated with thunderstorms. Is it infinitus or cumulus? One of those two. Infinitus or cumulus? Yeah, one of those two. I, the nimbus might be the, the white ones, which are not. Heavy, I think cumulus might be that. Cumulus? Yeah. Cumulus. Yeah, it, that uh, word sounds okay. Like okay, uh, cumulus? Uh, I'm sorry, it is a cumulonimbus. <laughs> oh my god! Cumulus or nimbus? Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus, okay. You're one for three. Question number four. Still, still an outside chance at a prize. Which gas is most abundant in the air we breathe? Nitrogen. Correct. Nitrogen is correct. You're two for four. Get this next question right and you win a prize. Miss it and you're going home empty. Pressure's on. Are you ready? For a prize. Responsible for maintaining the shape of the cell and assisting in cell division, 
What is the scientific name for the protein scaffolding that gives cells their shape? <laughs> you better know this. The, 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 the thing that gives the cell shape. For maintaining the shape of the cell and assisting in cell division, what is the scientific name for the protein scaffolding that gives the cell its shape? Bio, come on. Ah, man. Let's take a bio here. <laughs> um, protein scaffolding. Is, is it, I'm, I'm wondering if they're talking about the interwoven nets on the inside. Shape. Come on. Oh my god, uh, I, I, I need to know this. Okay, during, during cell division, they help during cell division. The mitotic spin villains. They are. In five seconds. Can you read the question? I'll read it one more time. Responsible for maintaining the shape of the cell and assisting cell division, what is the scientific name for the protein scaffolding that gives cells their shape? I'm picturing, I'm picturing the entire cell division right now. I can't remember what, what they're called. Protein scaffolding. Protein scaffolding. Protein scaffolding. Five, four, three, Two. I'm gonna remember it. One. This is over. <laughs> I need an answer. This is what they. Uh. uh so the answer is. <laughs> oh, spread it out. Um. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I was pulling for you. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton. I was thinking something skeleton. Exoskeleton. <laughs> Guys, thanks for playing. Did you have fun? Yeah, that was good. All right. Catch you on a future science ride. Thanks again for playing. Cytoskeleton. Get some every time. Cytoskeleton. Science Ride is made possible by funding from Northwestern University's Office for Research and Feinberg School of Medicine. Additional funding provided by Northwestern's International Institute for Nanotechnology and the National Science Foundation through the Nanoscale Science and Engineering Center at Northwestern. Creative and production services provided by the Multimedia Learning Center in the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences at Northwestern.